So guys, right, we are on part two, playing at Mottram Hall with Pete Finch on the camera. Um, we are currently playing stroke play, and one over Pete's two, so not the greatest start. Nice. And apparently the holes get a little bit harder, so I'm looking forward to this. If you've not checked out either of our channels before, do click on the links down here, we can check out our channels. And we're gonna now play what Pete's described as one of the hardest holes in Cheshire. Would you agree? In the world. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> apparently when they play the seniors event here, playing off the white tee, this is a par five, but on the scorecard it's a par four, so we have yeah. to play it as a par four. Par four yeah. 25 we make, it's really a par, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a dog leg left, uphill. Uh, I'm just going to go somewhere where it looks like a fairway. Yeah? yeah, it's really, really tough. You don't want to be going too far right. Your line with the driver is straight in the corner, really. You'll, get that, you'll see when you get down there, the fairway is a bit mental. Now that could be awesome. Just keep an eye, is it a draw? Just off that side, drawing in, and it looks like it's perfect, actually. Yeah. I think you might just run into the semi on the other side, but. Hit that nice. Hit that really nice. That was the shape I wanted to hit. When you, when you get down there, you won't want it back. Okay, fair that. Right, Pete. Now, with past experience, Pete here's where he snaps his driver last hole, last time he played it. <laughs> it wasn't in anger, I hasten to add. It was not. <laughs> it's just pure power. He hustled it. <laughs> um, it does look awesome, this hole. I'd say we're early tee off, it's only just gone past 8 am. So we teed off super early. Only people, aren't we? Aren't we? And uh, let's see how we get on with this hole. Exactly the same line as mine. It's not drawing though. It might take a very different kick. It has uh, taken a very different okay. kick. Is that all right? Yeah, I'll be alright. So, some two nice tee shots, I've been informed. Even though we've missed fairway, I believe this is the safer side, is it? It's only just. If you go that side, you're dead. So Anything left of that fairway, and apparently it's dead in trees. Um, so, this is the whole the approach we've got left in. It's up the hill, pins just there. And even from this point, we've still got 200 yards. I'm just ahead there, just in the semi-rough as well, uh, or the semi-rough. Um, right, Pete, what we're hitting? Uh, four iron, I think it's going to have to be. Well, this yeah. is like the par three we played on the on the uh, part one. So there's no there's no trouble long. Okay. There's no trouble long. So Bunkers in front, there. so you just got to get up there. Yeah. Um, rough's generous. It doesn't seem too bad. So this should be relatively straightforward, here, Pete. <laughs> This is definitely one of the. Is this stroking that's one? Yeah, this, this is stroking. Oh, this is stroking that's one. This is the toughest hole on the course. Yeah, definitely. Many times, thirteenth hole is stroking that's one. Hey, wait till you get. Wait till you get to the seventh. Oh god, right. Okay. <laughs> Fly it all the way there. Ah. Has gone left. It's not gone in the deep, deep stuff though. That's that just snagged up in that rough, didn't it? Just didn't catch it at all. Don't mind, you're up there. Oh. <laughs> so Rick's approaching, just on the 200. Yeah, but I'm on a I'm on a bit more of a slope. The ball's up above my feet. Yeah. If I'd have kicked off that bank onto the fairway, that would have been perfect. But I think yeah, a bit. I think a bit dry. I think we might have both kind of ran around a little bit more, but. So just under 200, I'm going to smash a four iron there, but I'm going to aim it way more to the right mm. because the anticipated left shot I'm probably going to get off this. Yeah. Thing. Cool. Um, we'll try and get it all the way there. The pin's here. All right, going to be aiming. I'm aiming at the big tree in the background if you can see that. Yeah, on that right. point there. Oh, oh it hook. stayed there. Hook ground, hook ground. Oh, that is bad. Just didn't come round, did it? No, I really thought it was going to come round much, much more than that. You'll be alright, to be fair. You've got all the green to come in from from over there. God, so. this is really tough, this hole. Mm, big time. Good par here. It will be a good par. Okay, so we've come off to the right-hand side of the green. Rick started his off pretty much where he wanted to. I know, it just never turned back. Just never turned back. So, I've got quite a tricky pitch here to say Very par. tricky. Um, I'm going to try and land it all the way there, 58 degree, open the face slightly, just to kind of pop it up and stop it quick. Probably going to have to hit this further to the right because it looks like it's going to slope slightly left. Yeah. 
got a nice enough lie. It's not it's not perfect by any stretch, but at least it's not this stuff. No, that's true. Um, yeah. I've got a good feeling about this one, right? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. I've seen you produce some magic from here before. Not from here, I've never been here. In this range. <laughs> Not bad. Kicking it around. Go on, go, 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 go. Not bad. Maybe a little bit too far right to start with, I think. Got the rights today. I think you could have hit it a bit straighter. Yeah. Chance for a par, though, mate. Long putt now, though. Chance for a par. Okay, so Pete's got a little bit of a pitch similar to mine actually, similar distance but on the other side of the flag. I've ran it out to here so I've got a very outside par chance. Uh, this is a really tough hole, you know, if I look back down the fairway, you know, you're, hitting, you're hitting two long golf shots into this hole. Okay, when you're ready Pete, yeah. he's got 60 degree, he's not got as much green to work with, so you can stay this close. Edge. He's got half, half a chance there. We're about similar distances at the moment, so let's see if we can hopefully hold two good putts to make some pars here. Because this is this is proving quite brutal. This hole, We've got to hold these two. So chances for par a slim, slim, <laughs> brutal start at about nine. This, but if we get this, then we've got a couple of easy holes coming up. Barely chances. Well, I mean, this is a par five for the seniors normally, so yeah. Let's roll this in for. for we four. are technically senior golfers, almost. Not quite. <laughs> Nailed it. Wow. Great putt. What a great putt. <sighs> wow. Tough work. Very tough. Good par. A par on that hole. I'll take that. Booty on the seniors tour. <laughs> right then, Finch. It's got a. Oh, this has got a drop. It's got a drop, really, yeah. I can't believe that. This is this is such a hard test to golf. Right, it's not even any wind. I'm glad. We've got a nice day for it. Okay, let's roll this one in. Make a good four. Needs to go. At least the four. Doesn't matter. No picture on a scorecard. Oh, boo! Boo! <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> Well, I honestly didn't think we were going to come out with fours there. I've never been so happy about a par in my life. <laughs> <laughs> we are over the moon with two fours there because we've we apart we hit two good tee shots, two terrible second shots, two average thirds, and then two great putts. <sighs> right onto some. Did you say easier holes? Yeah, slightly easier Thank holes now. God. <laughs> so we're up onto the fourteenth, shortish par four. It's only three sixty. And we need to we need to get some birdies, really. Yeah, we do. We well, do, I, we do. I do. You don't. Well, I'm, I'm one over. You're two, so yeah. we <laughs> definitely need to make some birdies. Right. Uh, driver, I'm just going to hit it just to the left of that big tree. Oh, hopefully open the hole up slightly. Fairway is in between these two clubs. Green straight down the middle. Nice ball. No, that's fine. That's fine, though. Perfect. Yeah, take that. Yeah, I think those bunkers, that was clear of those bunkers. Is that right? Miles, wasn't it, so. Okay. Right then, Pete. Um, like what Pete said, just straight down there. Should be a short pitch in if we've hit them nice. Less than 100 yards, definitely. We've hit them both nice, right? Same line as you, aren't we? Yeah. Come on. The same line as mine. Yeah, good shot. Yes. So we find ourselves on the fairway the 14th with big time Rick over here. <laughs> I think I'm longer, but Pete's got shorter into the flag. So I've, <laughs> I've just pushed it all. I've got 82 in. Rick's got 84 and he's not having <laughs> any of it. <laughs> I'm longer. Right. D25. <laughs> no chance. So I'm going to hit, I've got 80, what did you say? 84 for you. Okay. A little sand wedge. Pete's going to go up to the green, see how close I can get. Yep. Oh, he's up there now. So, we're up on the green. 
Got 84 in for Rick. Pin, really tight position actually here. Inaccessible almost at the back of the green. But Rick's gonna fly it high. Like he's tracking, he's gotta sit down though, he's gotta sit down. Check, check, spin. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he's run it long. He's run it long. I wonder if I should tell him where he's gone. A little bit big. <laughs> oh, he's gutted. So am I. Yeah, so, so am I. Well, after seeing how big I've gone, I am disgusted with that shot. From where I was, it looked perfect. I thought it was straight over it, but I've hit it 10 yards. Well, more than that. 15 yards too far. Dreadful shot, right. I need to work on my wedges next time. Pete's a little bit closer to the flag, 82 left in. Um, I've really left the window open for him here. I'm so disappointed with that last shot. Right, flag's there. Pete's pitching in, something lofty, probably a sand wedge. It looks big as well. Oh my God. We've do both done exactly the same thing. So unless, so unless Pete has bushnulled it wrong, have you bushnulled it wrong? Did you measure it wrong? We both hit massive. I think he's measured that wrong. I think it was 64 yards, not 84. Um, so we're both at the back of the green. Disappointing, very disappointing. But now we'll test our short game and see if we can get up and down. So. Rick, I'm a bit gutted, mate. Mine was all over it. Mine was. And yours was all over it as well. Just From a little back bit. There, we looked, I thought it was amazing. Yeah. I think I, you, your caddying skills, you sacked. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was giving you the wrong yardage, but kind of forgot that I was lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, a really tricky little shot now, but you never know. It's the chance of knocking one of these in. Chance of a bit. I've got, again, a little 9 iron, a little bump and run. I'm going to land it just on the fringe, run it up there and hopefully get it on its way to the hole. Hopefully knock it in. Come round. No, I'll hit that nowhere near hard just didn't get Just didn't get through it, I think. Just a little sure. bit tentative with that one. Ah. Right, Pete, a little window again. Aye. Keep opening these windows, but I don't seem to like the fresh air, do I? No, you don't. Am I, do you need me to mark that? Um, that's, it's all right, don't worry. You get it. Team. <laughs> and you're using it something a bit more lofted? No, no, just a little 52. All right, 52 degree. I'm just gonna just bump it on there, run it down. Give it a chance. That's the key. You give it a ah. chance, but it's. Travelled, not just bad. as far as way as yeah. on the other side. Well, this is a fine example of how to drive it and how to mess up a hole. Yeah, I think Rick um, might be ready to sack me from any future caddying roles. I just forgot his putter as well. <laughs> <laughs> just had to run back to the buggy. I'm sorry. I've got my putter my, now. Sorry, well, Wrong these, yardage. My, my sledging is kind of really coming along these last few games. <laughs> right. Oh, another... Difficult path. Another up. tricky path up. To be fair, this isn't so much the hole being tough, this is our oh, own fault. Our mess ups. Our yeah. own fault, this one, if we don't manage to get it in. But the core of destiny is definitely working. Will it work one more time? A few more times. A few yeah. more times. Safe. <laughs> Bloody hell. High pressure golf. This is hard. This is hard work this. Oh. But how to scramble a score when you're not playing particularly well, that's the important bit. Right Pete. Um let's see if you can then retaliate the same way, see if you can make a four. Sure to put the mine. But one of the, probably the easier holes we're gonna be playing, this is we're making it very difficult. <laughs> Yeah, good 
Cheers. Well, two. Wait, I tell you what, we're escaping with some pars here. I'm happy with the par. I'm, I'm not. You're, from that, from that you're shot. being too bloody negative at the moment. You need to book your ideas up, Have young you man. Have you seen the scores? <laughs> Listen, I know I'm going to come back. Because I know these holes. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm, I'm at one with these next few holes. So, up on the 15th. Last hole and then the part two. Yeah, this looks like a dog leg. I'm, because I don't know what's around that corner, I'm going to hit a little mini driver. Try and a little mini driver. Your line is pretty much there. That, bu that bunker? Just that bunker. Nice and straight at it. You won't reach there with a the mini driver. Nice shot. You don't miss fairways with that little bad boy. No, Alright, safe enough. Yeah, very good. Safe in the middle of the fairway. Um, Pete, are you going to go with a big stick? Now, with a bit, <laughs> with a bit more knowledge about this hole, well, you'll take the corner on it. The green will be over there, and you'll just rip it straight over there and be on the green. <laughs> hey, the dog like <laughs> yeah, it's over that way. Uh, right, okay. So, I think Pete's covered everything on this hole. Down, just on the edge of that tree line, there's a little bunker. That's where your line is. Currently need to make some birdies. I certainly do. Oh, he's cut straight over the corner there. <laughs> Is this a sneaky line that you weren't telling me about? No. <laughs> nice shot. Thanks. Is it alright? <laughs> It'll be alright. There is a there is a water as it goes down, that water hazard like loops around to the left. Okay. But um I'll be alright. You're, right. You're over that. So second shot, middle of fair, Eric. How far we got in? 117. I think in hindsight I'd probably smash driver a bit further up there. But just you're safe down that left side. Yeah. I think it's a tighter line definitely, but yeah. 117 into the flag. 117. Um is there much, much I need to worry about down there? No, that bunker on the right is quite a long way short. That pin looks at the back, actually. Okay. I've measured my own yardage this time. So only me to blame if I don't get this right. <laughs> 117. Stick it close. It's all over it. Has he got the club? Has he got the club? Awesome. Really nice. Yeah, look good. Yeah, about 12 foot left, maybe. Looks good distance Hopefully though. Hopefully birdie champ. Yeah. So Pete's hit a proper tiger line, a, vo a tiger line, avoiding the water and he's placed just off the fairway. Fairway's here. He's just off it and he's not got that long, far in actually. This is probably um, a more attacking line. He's only 64 yards into the flag. So he's from here, just in the semi rough. He's just debating what club he's hitting at the moment. I'm going to whiz up to the green so we can see the shot come in and then we'll see how, if I've got a bird, outside birdie chance as well. What are you hitting? Um, I'm going to go sandy, I'm going to go a bit higher. Sand wedge, okay. Yeah. Okay, so down, down by the green, you can just see mine, so about 12 foot away, outside birdie chance, at least a bit of better distance control this time. So, Pete's like I say, 64 yards left in. Uh, pins right at the back. The only thing he's got to be careful of is the slope that's just on the other side is quite undulated towards us. As long as he doesn't kick off there, it could help him, but um, he's got to throw this all the way there. Plenty of green to work with. I think he's done just that. Oh, that's a delightful shot. Yeah, great shot. Great shot. So he's left himself. A fantastic birdie opportunity now. Like I said, I've just got a bit of an outside range one, but great shot there by Pete. A little bit, it was bang on line, just need to hit it a few more yards, and that was potentially an eagle. So, Rick, nice shot. These are birdie. Got, we've actually got birdie chances. Birdie chances. <laughs> Apart from the first though, we've not had, <laughs> we've not had one since. <laughs> uh, down the hill, a little bit off the right. Let's try and roll this in to get back to level. Yeah. Got a chance on this one. Yeah. Nice looking put this. Ah, oh, 
I just can't get the speed. They oh, look okay. so much faster than what they are, and I think it's just because they are wet. Oh, frustrating. Still one over, right, Pete? You could match me back here now. Back yeah, absolutely. Um, much shorter range putt. So you hit a great pitch shot in there, Pete. Yeah, thank you. See if you can capitalise on that by rolling this in. That's it, also got Pete back also to one over. And then we've got three more holes to get back to the level. Super foot, well done, great birdie. Thank you very much. Well deserved. It's a shame we didn't both oh, quite birdie that, but well done. Oh, it's a uh, real shame. <laughs> so what a back, shame. We're both back to one over now. So that was the part end of part two. Uh, we are now going to whiz up over to the last three holes. What are the last three holes like, Pete? Um, got a tough par three, um, an amazingly tough par four, but then the par five to finish. So it should okay. be a really good finish, so actually. Some chances. Yeah. So, guys, you can um, subscribe by clicking the link just down here. Also, click on Pete's face to Find out his channel. Find out some good content on there. <laughs> you'll, you'll be searching really long time, but yeah, go on. <laughs> um, and also, you can check out the next video in the window just here. If it's not up just yet, you're one of the first people to watch this, and it'll be up very soon. And hopefully, then you'll see us start into part three. Kind of makes